Adriana, I'll do this for you. I take on the Danny, the one and only Danny. He's a tough player, tough player, but I do it for you. Come on. Right, I'm just getting warmed up for the next round of the rivals, and it's going to be epic. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be exciting. And it's me versus Danny Wrench yet again. And we've had a couple of these encounters. Danny got the best of the last one, winning the three-minute section and the one-minute section. Now, let me just quickly explain how this is going to work. We're going to play best of three, three minute to start off with. And if it's one and a half all after that, we have to keep going until someone wins, of course. We can't have draws in this, in this stuff. Go away, draws. No draws. And then we're going to play three minutes, the same, best of three again. And we're going to try rock and roll in that. And then probably my strongest has been Fisher Random. That's the last three games that we're going to we're going to we're going to try to do. Now, Danny's a great player, isn't he? I mean, our matches, I have to say, are so much fun. I mean, they, they have been so close in the past. I mean, I won one, Danny's won one. They've always gone to the wire hope i'm not jinxing myself now um and i'm just ready i'm excited we're also getting to know each other's openings which is cool so um i kind of know what he plays now he knows what i plays he knows my rubbish he went he sniffed out my should we say rather crappy dragon last time and he punished me so i've got to be careful this time um, right, I'm going to see if we can get it going. I'm going to wait for the challenge. Or okay, we're, we're, we're do let's do this. Let's do this. Um, okay. Okay, I've got to feel like Rocky. Got to get in the mood for this. Um, okay, I've been recording for a while. Been recording. We'll await your challenge, Danny. Your challenge. Okay, let me just put this in and we'll get started any second. So the whole point of this rivals, you've probably seen um, uh, this before, is that, you know, I record at my end, but then Danny Wrench, who is, you know, one of the main guys at chess.com, talented guy, you've seen him commentate on some of these other matches, and here we go, records at his end. And then you can watch both of them and you can decide, you know, what you want to see. Right, I'm going to go for the birds. Come on. I bet that he didn't expect that one. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Mr. Wrenchy. <laughs> Rocky would be proud. And look, he's already spent. He's already spent 10 seconds. That's what we like to see. Okay, dare I go E4. Now, let's just keep it sensible. I'm going to play the dreaded, the one and only Dutch defense reverse because I've noted in the past that Danny's theory is extremely good. And I don't want to get tricked out. I, I'm just trying to... And while I say that, I'm trying to avoid losing a piece in a couple of moves. Shall we even keep this little guy? Shall we keep him? Let's put him back on C2, see what happens there. And we're just going to try to get some unique, weird and wonderful position. I'm waiting for him to castle. Come on. Come on. And he's not... He doesn't want to do it yet. Okay, I'm going to wait. Because as soon as he castles, I'm flying, baby. I'm flying. He doesn't want to castle. He's been very cagey here. And who can blame him? Okay, well, I'm going to have to do some developing. And, okay, now, right, what do we do here? Do we stop that one in its tracks? Let's go there. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Oh, the problem is here, I want to get my knight out on B1. But if I move this, I drop this pawn. So what else am I trying to do here? Do I go D4? D4. He's playing. He's, he's, he's not. He's not. He's not falling for my. Not falling for my stuff, is he? Um, I don't really want to move it back there. That doesn't look right. F5. Can I do that? Doesn't look right to me. Takes. To, oh, maybe. Maybe. Um, he's being. Ah, this is annoying. I, you know. How do I get this piece in the game? Right. I'm gonna have to move quick because I've got myself in a lot of time trouble in the past. And now, come on, come on, center. Okay, I don't actually like this so much, me. Okay, come on. I don't want to lose the first game. I always lose the first game. No, I don't want to today. And I've got to try to generate something here. But my plan's gone a bit pear-shaped. Maybe this bishop manoeuvre here wasn't the correct thing to do. But, okay, he's castled. Does that give me a target to attack? Well, I've got this weak pawn. I'm going to play this... Oh, I don't like that one either. 
Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take and try to get my knight to e4 very quickly. I need to develop all my pieces. He can take that pawn, but I'm going to try to hit out against this. Can he take on d3? Yeah, it's kind of a bit of a bluff I'm doing here. And then he might better take there. What am I doing with my position? Oh, God damn it. Uh, no offense to you, Lord. And uh, okay, right. Bishop takes here is annoying. Bishop takes queen. And he's going for the here first. Okay, we'll dive in with the knight then. Oh, my words. Oh, my words. You cannot do brilliant things like that against me, can you? I haven't calculated this at all. Has he just done something absolutely brilliant? What a bugger! Oh no, he's got a pawn all the he's got all the way to Barry there. What the hell's happened? Okay, right, come on. Um, we're gonna have to go desperado on him now. Always the first game, Ugh! and I don't like this at all. It's gone horribly wrong. That was a beautiful. You got to give all credit to him. I mean, why is he not a GM? Why is he not a GM with moves like that? Leaving his queen on pre. Okay, right. Um, Desperado attack is needed desperately. Okay, I mean, it's just gone horribly wrong. This is a bad start to the operation. Oh, my word, stop it. Just because you think you're good. Yeah, you think you're good. Yeah, with all these clever little moves. You think you're good with all these little crafty little tactics, these amazing little tactics. Yeah, you're doing me some damage here. You are doing me some damage. Okay, this one looks gone. I do my normal lose the first game and then try to struggle back into it. Okay, can I swindle him? And I have pulled off the odd swindle, but I must admit, this is looking really, really, well, I say bad. I mean, I don't, know, I don't even know if bad's the right, the right bloody thing to say. Oh, hello. Let's get the tricks going. Come on, swindle mode. Come on. You know you can pull off a swindle. What is happening here? Well, I'm trying to take here, take here, get my little attack going. They call me the swindler. Do, 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 do. They call me the swindler. Do, do. Okay, right. Well, I haven't swindled this yet because, of course, he can take here. And um, I'm not sure what's happening. Rook takes here still looks like I'm completely losing. But I might be able to swindle this one. Okay, he's taken there. I've just really confused him as much as I can. And now I'm going to have to keep trying to swindle. I'm just in swindle mode. Of course he's played this one, the bugger. And right, let's take there. Come on. And now we take there. Can get my rook. Okay. Oh, he's done there. Okay. What's happened? I'm back in the game. Am I? Am I back in the game? Oh, no. He's, he's done that move. What's going on? Oh, how do I stop that? That's really frustrating, that move. Why did you play that move? You're not supposed to play good moves. Okay, right. I have to get double rooks behind this pawn. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't do this. Oh, what's he doing to me? Stop it. Oh, I nearly got back in that one as well. Oh, my words. I maybe shouldn't have even lost that one. I mean, I was getting completely stuffed. Right, I need a better performance now. And I got black. I'm going to go for Tiger's Modern. It's an opening we have not tried so far. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. And, oh dear, I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to do against that. Now, Tiger's Modern, you just go B5. So let's go B5, shall we? Um, okay, and that's about all I know you do in this really weird opening so I'm gonna start pushing that one like I don't know any better and I don't know any better here and okay what do we do now boys and girls do we castle into it and get some weirdness I can't lose this game okay I can't lose this game right okay wow I mean I really thought I swindled my way right back into that last game it kind of felt like uh, you know I, I had I had got back in that game, definitely. Um, so I've got to try to get that now out of my mind. One of, the, one of the trickiest things to do in chess, as I'm sure you all know, 
is to recover from a loss and then bounce back. But we've got to fight hard and we've got to fight strong. So let's try to get idea. I want to stop him castling kingside. If he castles queenside, I can have a crack at his king. So, of course, he's coming at me. He's coming at me. Right, do we do here and let him have a crack? Let's let him have a crack. What are friends for, hey? It looks a little bit scary. He's throwing Harry at me like, like I don't know, like like I'm scared. I'm not scared at all. I'm I'm not scared at all. There's nothing nothing to look nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I'm terrified here. Okay, absolutely terrified. I mean, look, I have a piece, but in this kind of position, oh my words, what's he trying to do to me? Stop it, man. Go away. Right, okay, now, come on, we can we can calmly, calmly do something, can we? What can I do? Right, come on. I don't want to sit around and defend some shabby position. Now, if I take here, does that give me anything? I can't see how I follow up. This move doesn't seem to help because he pins me. What am I doing, people? Is he threat? Well, oh, I mean, he must be threatening. I can't play that move. That's just... Uh, can't see what I'm doing. Okay. No, I just can't lose this game. He's coming in. He's trying to take here. So I have to get rid of that knight. I have to. That knight was too damn scary there. And his queen comes in now. He's attacking like a maniac today. Um, don't know what he's doing to me at the moment. Okay, and he's coming in nice and calmly. Now I have to go in some horrible... I mean, defence is not my speciality. You may have guessed that if you've seen some of my games before. I'm trying to defend this rather horrible attack. I'm timed down. I've got to get my knight to e3 and try to start some counter-attack. This is the way. Knight on f8 holds things up for now, or does it? Does it hold things up? I've got to... Yeah, he's got this move. And... I've got to play a move like e6 here. Then he's got knight d6 check. And my mouse has also stopped. And oh, if I go here, he takes here. What else can I do? Not the way I wanted this to go. Rook takes here. Am I defending this position? If knight here, he takes here. Everything is dropping horribly here. I'm going to try and get rid of this knight. That knight looks horrible. But of course he comes in with more. Oh no! This is just disgusting. He's absolutely destroying me here. Um, absolutely destroying me. I, I have to admit, this is just not what the Doctor wanted. The Doctor Williams wanted. This is disgusting. Um, I mean... Um, uh. Uh, oh God, can I go knight there? It looks so dodgy. No, he goes, he goes rook there. Check. I t oh no, this is awful play by me. I'm going to lose another one. I, I always do this myself. Okay, right. Impossible to come back from here. Impossible. Okay, twenty seconds. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to uh, rely on winning the one minute or something. I mean, this is this is too far gone. Too far gone. Too, I'm not even material up here. And I'm a lot of time down. I'll keep fighting a little bit. And that is the end of my fight. Oh, oh dear. Maybe the worst blitz thing ever. Painful. I mean, all credit. All credit to Danny, who, who just came at me with a monstrous attack there. A monstrous attack monstrous you can see he's on fire today not going well okay one minute is yeah okay let's move on to the one minute let's do it so we now okay so he's won the three minute section i'm gonna have to move very quickly in the one minute section and see if we can get some something back there now last time i lost the three minute i lost the one minute so we will try one minute here and then we go on to fish around him so i've got to try to get in the mood to move instantaneous now um, but yeah, two games, he just completely went through me there. And you saw some brilliant attacking play there. You must, I must admit that I didn't have any chances in, in that last game. Um, okay, so we're just waiting for the one-minute challenge. Here it is, and I need to now take him on my weakest thing. 
So let's see if I can get more concentration going here. Okay, I'm just going to play random and quick. Random and quick. Okay, let's go in Sicilian. Let's do it quickly. And I want to try to kill him in this game as quick as I possibly can. I'm not worried about taking. We're going to go quick kill. Quick kill. Okay. Going to try and get some revenge here. Trying my hardest to get some revenge. Because he's played brilliantly and now I need to I need to start attacking him. This is clear. Let's put that pawn there. It does allow him to go there though. That's not what I really wanted to allow, was it? A bit silly. I should take him to bishop. Okay. Well, let's not panic yet. That was a bit silly of me. And we're gonna try we can well from being material up I'm material down but I think it's more important to surely try and keep some kind of initiative in this position but I have of course let things slip again right I'm threatening pawn here that's a good start am I doing that let's do it okay let's do it let's do it quick is there some nasty check and bishop check here I don't know weird weird position and he's trying to get the queens off we don't want to allow that because my queen seems to be quite dangerous here does it not um, but his pawns are very dangerous i mean how am i stopping his pawns i'm going to put that there and i'm going to try and push and hope i don't get tricked here god don't get tricked i'm hoping my bishop and my queen can cover everything i'm hoping beyond all hopes that they cover everything going on here. Quick. Come on! That's what we want. At least I've won a game! <laughs> After that demolition in the first two games of three minute, I was getting extremely worried. So, okay, so second game. Now, I've got to win this one to even the score. I'll go for a French. No, I'll go, I'll go Hippo because I can do it quick. I can do it quick, can I? Well, not as quick as Danny, but I can try. Okay, let's go. Oh no, what was that? I didn't mean to move that there. Okay, he's going that side. Who can blame the guy? Who can blame him? Okay, my attack looks a little bit slow. But you know what? That's just, that's just uh, you know, it, it will build. It will build. Come on. None of that, please. And he's, yeah, I'm not opening up that. It's all about, it's all about having the initiative. So, come on, keep attacking. Keep going. And keep going. Put that there to stop him getting an e6. Right, and let's get rid of that bishop if I can. And keep attacking him. Check. Patsa sees one. Patsa plays one. I'll take that now, thank you. And could be on the clock here. Queen exchange must be okay for me in this position. He's gone for it. So it look, looks like I've got a better position. But anything can happen in this time limit of course he's trying to exchange off everything ah oh dear what am i doing not the, not really the kind of position i actually wanted to get let's go tricky with this one let's go tricky with him no wrong square i wanted to go d1 there <laughs> okay come on you can take there shite missed that one he thought he's fighting back and he's quick should have had this game Simon, very bad. Fuck. Ah! Oh no, my time as well. What was that last move? Ah, he's got me. And of course, that game started very well for me. That was my chance. Okay, I've got to win this next one. So we come to one all now and at the moment. So the next one is is the deciding game of the one minute section. Then we come on and fish around. So Danny has indeed taken the fight, the fight three minutes and the one minute. I've got to move quick again. So let's really try to confuse him again with his A3. This is a good little blitz move. Is he going to... Okay. Now, let's just keep coming with the pawns. Let's keep coming with them. And Harry! Get in there, son. 
Okay, come on, pawns, you can do the job. And I'm just going to try and throw them at the board at him. So the pawns are rolling like... Okay, right. Let's open up his king as much as I possibly can here. And, I don't know, maybe a check there was good. In we go. In we go. We want this square for our pieces. I want I want to win this game quickly. And I want to win it without without on time. I want to just get, get there. I want to do it painfully. I want to make Danny suffer here, I'm afraid. Like he's made me suffer. Okay, well, he's 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 in the game. He's in the game. And how do I break through here? How do I break... Oh, I've got to move quick. Okay, and he's getting back there as well. How do he get back in this... Okay, let's go in. Got to move quick then. I'm not going to do this on time. Got to throw everything at his king. And try to break through somehow. Okay. He's taken that one off, understandable. Need to mate him. Come on. What was that? You're taking it. God, he hustled me there. Check. Unbelievable, I'm not winning this in. Oh no, fallen for mate. Ah! Oh, I've lost both series. This is a very painful one. This is what happened last time. It seems like Danny is indeed getting the better of me there. So. Ah, oh, so close there. How much time do I have left? Well, zero time there. Danny had three seconds at the end, proving again just how quickly he is at one minute chess. I mean, uh, if I started playing that quickly in the first three minutes, could have been a different thing. Okay, so now we come on to the last section, and all credit for Danny fighting back. And the last section is Fisher Random, and this is one section I've always done all right in, and we will try and see what happens there. But again, you know, it's fun. These games are at least very exciting. And that's that's the thing we always get. At least when me and Danny play. See, I'm making myself feel a little bit better there by not saying, oh, you've played like a like a complete turnip. You've played interesting chess. Interesting. Interesting, you know? Interesting. Well done, Simon, for your interesting chess. Okay, let's just see if we are finishing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Danny's saying that was nasty. And I have to say I agree. <laughs> So, okay, let's see if I can get something at Fisher Random. Okay, let's see. Fisher Random, I guess. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're trying to make these more regular. Um, so we're gonna try to do these like every every week or two weeks, Danny, because, you know, both quite busy. I've been away in Vienna, as you've probably seen. Um, haven't played much Blitz Chess recently, clearly. Need to get a bit back, back into that. And,. Um, so if you want to see it more regularly, just just say and get involved with that. And we will just wait and see. We have still got this little my one chance of getting some respect from this little schedule is the Fisher Random. Um, so let's see if I can get any joy here, um, which I have not played for a while either. Okay, let's try this one. Something a bit weird, a bit weird, and avoid getting checkmated here he's got a nice little diagonal there hasn't he and i'm gonna now see if i can open up my diagonal as well and i'm hoping my knight here gives me something so let's see um okay that bishop develops very nicely there let's try to bring all my pieces out i've got to remember about this weird castling move i'm still i still don't know how to do that i'm not that worried about it i haven't done it yet so you know there's no no point learning it now is there how to castle in chess? You don't. You don't need to castle in chess, do you? Who, whoever said you need to castle in chess? Who was that? Who said you need to castle? Now I've got some. I love to get some trick with knight there in. Uh, is that ever going to be playable here? Well, I think we keep floating our pieces in. 
see what happens. And I guess I go here to give my bishop some potential at some point. But now, you know, he's forced this one back. That's a little bit annoying. Um, and not a great fan of this either. Could be one of those days. One of those days, those dreary days. Uh, right. Well, it might not be that bad. Now he's gone d4. His bishop and queen are not ideally placed. So he's played an excellent move there. That's the move I've scared about. Trying to get his queen into this position. Now, I guess I can castle. Can I castle here? But again, I haven't, no, let's not castle. I, I, haven't, I haven't castled yet. So I'm not going to castle now. I'm going to take that pawn and let him prove his compensation. It gives me some check on c4 maybe as well. Uh, his queen, of course, looks scary there. I'm hoping I could take on b4 and sneak my, sneak my queen in. So he's castled again. He's done that crafty little move. He always does on me. That castling bloody move. I'll tell you what, let's just take that one. I don't know. Let's take it, eh? Let's just take it and see what happens. And if pawn takes... I even have a check, a very strong check maybe, because knight there, I have rook takes knight. Boom! So you see that little tactic? Pawn takes bishop, knight h5 check leads to a win of a queen or mate. Oh, you can go knight there takes king there. But that should be should be strong. I mean, also I can just go queen takes pawn. Um, both those moves look very scary for him. And... He's had to play a move like this now, so I'm going to open up this. Then his idea is to come here with his knight, is it? Clearly his idea. Now, how am I going to deal with that? I have rook here, so then he takes here, check. Very interesting tactic there. Um, so, well, I'm going to have to do it, I feel, and just see if I can work out anything after knight here. Here, bishop takes here, takes, queen takes. Can I run away? This check is awfully annoying uh, for me. Very strong check. I don't... Well, I've got knight here as well. Let's try knight here, because at least then... Maybe there's some pin here. But this is a very scary position, because even rook takes pawn now. He's threatening check and mate. Not... Nice. Not nice at all. Can I castle here? Can I... Have I moved my king? I've moved my king! Shite. Okay. <laughs> oh, when you forget about the castling rule, you probably, you probably know that it's not going your way. So how do I stop this? This is incredibly strong. Check and mate. I can't see a way to stop this. Well, this looks bad. I'll run with the king. I'm going to try to run with the king, but I, I don't like it at all. Check king here, maybe. I need to give my king some square. And again, we're getting to this close on time situation, bad on time situation. So, but, I had to, but his threat was queen f7 and queen f8 mate. So I've had to give my king some oomph here to, to try and escape. This is the only way that I could have played the position. Okay, well, I'll take that quickly. 20 seconds as well. He's just done that. Okay. Well, I'm going to get rid of that knight because that knight was an internal pain. And pray that I can defend this miserable position. I mean, if I get my king here, there's some kind of box position. But my queen is so far out of play. And let's give him a check so he can't come in. And somehow get this rook in the game. Get my rook in the game. Time, though. Time, time, time. Queen should come to d4 if I can. Okay, queen to d4. Let's move it there. I had rook g8. Uh, let's play it now. See if it works. Can't move that rook. It's pinned. I only just saw that. Of course I saw it in advance. Of course. Well, now he can do it because I've let him do it. Dirty. Oh. 
How on earth did I even get to this? <laughs> oh, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. You know what? Because because he's playing so much better than me in this uh, in this session, um, I I I'm gonna take all the grubby little wins that I can get. I'm gonna take as many grubby little victories as I can because he's just playing much better than me. You know, this is becoming clear now. Uh, he is playing very well today. Right, so let's play some weird uh, weird kind of Dutch here, shall we? And I can't let him get free out of free. This is the okay. Come on, F pawn, do your damage, sir. Um, okay, now we bring this knight out. Now I can't. I have my F pawn here for some weird reason. Let's just start some outrageous attack over there, and maybe hit that pawn. I don't know. What's that all about? Can we do that? And. What is this position, people? What is this? What is this madness we have here? H pawn as well? Ah, why not? Okay, now I think my bishop will probably want to come to that square. <coughs> He's castled again. He's done that magic move. Not once have I seen that. And not once have I foreseen that move this magical move of castling which uh, he, he keeps throwing at me i don't think i've actually castled once ever in in a 960 game as i've said and i don't intend to do it now because you know you can't teach an old dog new tricks so i played b4 it's a typical kind of sack here to open up lines you know vaguely open up lines against his king there and he's trying to get his queen out so we are not I'm going to try, you know, I don't want to allow that queen in the game if I can help it. Wow, he's gone for some double sacrifice here. Well, let's... What's happening here? It's a good little move because he wants to rush his queen into the position. I'm just going to play c3 so he can't go queen takes pawn next move because that kind of scared me a little bit. And now I'm attacking two pieces. If he moves his knight back, I can take here because he has no queen takes d4. Maybe I should stick to fish around for the rest of my life. You know, you get these weird positions. I, I think in madness I kind of thrive, to be honest. You know, this is where I should stick to, in, in the shadows of madness. Oh, my words, I say that, then he goes and plays an absolutely bonkers move. Uh, well, okay, I do like that move, but I'm not... Oh, he's gonna, he can go here and then take here. Did not see that one. Okay, well, that was annoying. If he takes here, he's, got, he's, he's, he's starting to get some serious frets. Like taking here for one. Annoying. Do I have to play this? I don't like playing such a move here. Seems awfully scary, but I can't lose that rook as well. Um, I mean, knight f3, queen e4, mate would be uh, extremely embarrassing. So I'm going to try and get rid of this knight, even if it costs me a rook. Because that, that knight could not live there. If he goes here, check, I have to get rid of it. And then I can get... I don't really want to get the queens off. His king's now looking safe as well. So, this simple knight f4 looks like a good move to me. He's gone for something more complicated, though. Okay, I'm surprised by that. I was going to cut his king off. I didn't like his king tucking itself over here. It always seemed quite safe over there. So, okay, well, now, now I'll take this. And can I give that one? I don't know. Let's let's give it anyway. Oh, he's taking this one. Oh, dear. Didn't see that. And if I lose that, it's game over, isn't it? Well, it's game over already, I feel. Uh, I'll play in a little bit, of course. Just to try and get to it. Oh, if I lose this one, it's going to come down to one game where it's all at stake all at stake okay oh dear need a miracle Actually, this position is the more i look at this the more it starts to smell not just bad but absolutely atrocious i mean 
Can you get a worse position than this? I don't know. It looks pretty bad, doesn't it? It doesn't look good. So, mm, uh, we're playing for tricks. Playing for tricks. If I get one check here, some tricks. Knight takes here, he goes mate. Even my tricks look like rubbish to me at the moment. Bishop b8, queen c7. Oh no, what's he doing? Okay, what, last trick. Last trick. <laughs> last trick, would he see it? Oh, he takes here with check. Can I get my trick? Queen, he can queen. Has he got auto promote on? Oh, he queens there. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Okay, I was hoping he would have auto promote on um, if he took here to a queen, because then I have queen c7 was mate hoping for auto promote <laughs> that was a weird position so we come down to the decider um in uh in this game so it's one all one all in this fisher random and danny won the three minute section two nil unbelievably well not unbelievably I, I i you know he played much better than me he attacked me he just took me out in the first two games and then he won the one minute section 2-1. So now we're coming down to the decider. The only chance I have of winning something. And we're back to this. So I'm going to take this one a little bit more seriously. Now I see a weak square. Why didn't I why did I move that knight then? Okay, this is the knight I'm supposed to move to try to come to B2 with mate. Um But I don't know. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Let's just check. Check him out. Okay, and now we're gonna to try to just go for some dynamic attacking chess. Uh, okay, get the... Oh, he's done that magic again. Stop it. Okay, well, my bishop looks like it should be lined up here against b2. And, oh dear, he shouldn't be doing that. Surely, what's he doing? Where's my mouse going? His last move looked absolutely suicidal to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm coming for him now. I'm coming for him now. I'm just gonna try to open him up and checkmate him. I want to fly my queen in there, take there. And I didn't see that move. Okay, don't worry. Life is still okay. Now, do we float it in anyway? I think we do. Let's float it in. And now it's a lovely defensive move. He wants to be in his rook over there. Oh dear. Oh. Dear, oh dear. It was a great defensive move. Rook a4 stops everything. Uh, really struggling here. No compensation for my... For my... Uh, well, Queen there was a bad move. I mean, I mean, I think I had some compensation if I'd gone like c5 or something. So I'm going to have to try to think of another plan here. Desperate plan, should we say. And it certainly is a desperate plan now. Starting to lose the plot. Okay, we have to go here. I know, I know it lines my queen up against his rook, but I don't see many other options. He's even got queen check here. Very nasty move. I have to go here. I'm piece down as well. So he could have just vanquished me in this little series. Okay, and that one, I have to give up my queen for very little compensation. So rook for a queen. And he... Oh no, they're all dropping. <laughs> Can life get any more painful than this? Can it? <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Well, I missed that tactic. Missing everything today. It's like blindness. And I, I, I think I just have to resign this one. And uh, fight another day. There's no way I can eat. I'm, lose I'm like whole queen down. Well, there we go, Danny. I'm going to give you that one and go and cry in the corner of my room. So Danny won basically all uh, three encounters there. So well done, Danny. You did well. And um, that's going to next time I'm going to have to come back and try to play a little bit stronger than that, aren't I? But all credit to Danny. He played very well. Good games. The first couple of amazing games in the three minute chess. He came at me. Um, I did a bit of a dubious sacrifice in that one. Um, I'm just going to say no worries you played great and he did play great and uh, yeah I mean uh, he, that's the first time he's wiped me out and everything so um, I'll just 
do the little thing. Say say my no worries. Everything was lovely. Really enjoyed myself there. Lovely jubbly. Uh, it was a real pleasure. I'm such a bad loser. I have to say. Um, I mean, I'm an incredibly bad loser. I mean, I I, I hide it well, don't I? <clears throat> but I'm I'm um, wipe me out in all three. And I'll give I'll give a little smiley face at the end there, saying. No worries. Um, okay, no, no, he played brilliantly. The better player won there. I'll be back though next time. So that gives me something uh, to play for in the next Rivals match. I have to wipe Danny out in all three. That's the only way I can gain any respect after that because all credit to him. He kept attacking. He did well. He took me out. Hope you enjoyed the games. At least they were interesting games again. And as Arnie said, I will be back. I'll be back. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be so angry and ready for the next one. I'm ready for you, Danny. But in that one, I got wiped out. So thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. And remember, you can go and watch Danny's games at his end as well. So make sure you do that. Of course, watch his side. Watch my side. Probably be more of an enjoyable experience watching his side. But uh, from me, uh, GM. I wonder why I'm a GM sometimes. I'll be back. Just a day is not my day. Goodbye for now.